I've heard a few comments in the Infusionsoft forums and in Facebook groups from people saying that the reporting in Infusionsoft is somewhat limiting or somewhat limited. And that hasn't been my experience. And so I want to share with you guys a trick that I use to really report on just about anything. So, um, of course, there are the different reports sections under each component of the application. And those can be quite valuable and knowing how to understand the data that's there and manipulate the criteria will really unlock a lot of different things for you. Um, but there's another trick I'd love to show you and it revolves around tags. Um, and so I want to jump into my blog updates campaign. So let's say I wanted to track the number of people who had subscribed to my blog this week. Well, one way to do it is to run the web form activity report or the web form tracking report and just track how many people have submitted that particular web form that week. But if I have three different entry points here, um, they can come from a different campaign, they can come from my landing page, or they can come from my sidebar web form. Well, it becomes a little bit harder to track. So what I've done is in here, I do tag everyone as being blog subscriber. Uh, but the challenge with that is even if I did a search for people who have this tag and were created this week, right, there's no, uh, that's not going to tell me people who have been in my database for a long time and only recently signed up. So there's a flaw there. So what I do is I apply a tag as soon as they enter the sequence and then I wait until Sunday and at just about midnight I remove that tag. So what this does effectively is instead of showing me the last seven days, it shows me blog subscribers this week. So at any given point, I know how many people have subscribed to my blog this week. And the reason that that's beneficial is because uh, last seven days is rolling and each time you check it, you know, there'll be kind of some overlap with the people who were there previously. Uh, so what I do is I look at this week and then we can also add an additional tag here. Uh, at Sunday, it removes that tag. So let's add a second tag for blog subscribers last week, right? And then what we can do is just add a timer here. And it doesn't really matter, uh, but we'll wait until the following Sunday. So wait until the next Sunday at 11.45 p.m. It doesn't let you do midnight very well. We could do Monday at 12 a.m., but let's just do Sunday at 11.45 p.m., and then we will remove that blog subscribers last week tag. So by applying and removing tags, you can pretty easily set up the reports that you're looking for. Um, I could do the same concept with this month, last month. You know, if you want to get into date timers, you could do uh, quarters. So set up for the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter. Anybody who has the blog subscriber tag and the first quarter tag, you know, when they joined your blog list, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and publish this and then we'll run the report for that particular tag and uh, we'll have one new metric to measure. So let's go back to my list and back to my contacts and we'll go ahead and click start over here. And now we're looking for, I have a category for reporting tags. So if you're going to use a lot of these for reporting, that's a good practice to get into blog subscribers last week. And I don't need any other criteria because I know that tag is going to be applied as well as removed. So anybody who has that tag, I can safely assume was a blog subscriber. And then I'll just change this to last week. There we go. Third tries a charm. And then we'll go back to our dashboard and uh, you can see I'm starting to populate some metrics on here that are important to me. So we'll add another stat. And from there you get to select contact and blog subscribers last week, save. And now I'll move it right up next to blog subscribers this week. So that way I can see this week versus last week side by side pretty easily. You might set up four weeks and that'll help you establish trends over time. One of the complaints that I hear about the reports is that it's not very good at telling you the way things are trending. So this is one way that you can set up reports that are in real time and they subscribe to each week. So second week and last week and it'll give you some sort of indication of how your week is going and then each Sunday it resets and these people will slide down into that one and you've got a new group there. All right, so hopefully that unlocks some uh, new information for you and you start to think about your reports a little bit differently. Good luck.